hi guys welcome to the gold edition of our videos for this weekend so if you haven't watched the um, sketchbook flip through I explain a little bit more I'm going to be taking a little break um, so I'm uploading quite a few videos this weekend and you can learn more about that in the sketchbook video but um, today we're talking about all my favorite golds from different mediums and you can see so this is kind of the book where I have them swatched out at the minute so this is a Hannah Muller um, nostalgia sketchbook it's got kind of thick um, white card stock type paper in it so it's not a watercolor um, sketchbook but I really love the cover there I was showing you at the beginning it's got this kind of herringbone um, herringbone sort of uh, fabric cover which is really beautiful I really wish they would um, bring this out with cotton paper inside I think it would be the perfect watercolor sketchbook um, so yeah you can see that I'm kind of flipping you through here what I have going in the um, front and so these are some of my printables and um, some things that are kind of placeholders here for things that I want to sketch um, and possible future videos so we'll see how that goes but um, also everything in my shop this week is on sale and I might be closing it after you know while I'm on break so um, yeah but let's see um, so <laughs> at the back here you can see um, this is a pencil um, color wheel and I have a video on how to burnish it and how to create it like that and you can see I'm really into this color palette so I in the sketchbook flip through we do this watercolor version of um, the that kind of color palette and I just realized that that is um, the same kind of color palette but you can see all through the sketchbook here I have little cutouts and little sketches of um, some of the emblems and printables from my shop and that is one of the ways that I really like to incorporate them and familiarize myself with them and that's how I've learned and that's how I um, you know continue to learn like I'll show you in some snippets of videos this weekend how I've taken just a page of the printables and kind of used that as a jumping off point to um, create something but so we'll get into that in other videos but um, you can see here these are like probably my favorite and most used golds so we're going to go through all these one by one but I just wanted you to have kind of a little um, overview here at the beginning and some are watercolor there are oil paint ones um, you can see that in this emblem video we used the gold Windsor and Newton ink to um, with a dip pen to create these frames and this is one of my favorite favorite ways to use gold and um, this is kind of what I was talking about like using the printables to create different frames and create ones that are meaningful to you um, you know you might put a different monogram in them that is um, yours or um, you know something that is meaningful or sim symbol symbolic to you like um, you know just different things so so you can see here again I have them in here um, and I'm not sure I think we're just going to we're going to get um, swatch them all in this sketchbook so we just made this sketchbook recently and you can see how I like to sort of open the um, cover and then open the sketchbook and then it makes this really sturdy uh, you know uh, sort of little kind of desk um, sketchbook so as always I am just prepping the page uh, this is just the Technalo um, graphite pencil from Karen Dash and I am just um, you know putting down a heading there and then here is our selection of gold so you can see also we have markers and oil pastels and um, obviously I have quite a collection I really like um, to use golds and metallics as finishing touches on artwork so um, yeah uh, and also thank you to those of you who have used the affiliate links because um, some of these things wouldn't be possible without um, your links so 
without your you know using those links so I really appreciate that as well and I know that all the other viewers do so it makes the um, haul videos a little bit more robust and yeah really appreciate it so um, let's see this is my first and favorite gold if um, you are just gonna sort of dip your toes in and you just want one gold this is the one I'd recommend it's the Winsor & Newton gold ink this is probably my eighth bottle of it and you can see there that you can use it with a uh, paintbrush so I'm just painting a little rose here uh, but my favorite way to use it is with a um, dip pen so I will link down below I use the gold nibs um, the gold E&M nibs and uh, a dip pen a wooden dip pen you know holder which I will also link um, and yeah that's my favorite my favorite way to use and just a quick um, addition of gold to a page so this one is the Schmincke aqua bronze this one also is a really beautiful one I don't use it that often because it's a little bit um, trickier to use but um, when I was doing this video and I realized I could just take my wet brush and just dip it straight into the jar there that might make it a little bit more accessible to me so I might have to think about pulling that out more often because I really love it and I love the way that it looks um, this one here, and that that also comes in quite a few colors as well so this one here is the Sennelier oil pastel number 114 I think and it's a really beautiful one as well so the problem with oil pastels is that they don't dry but if you don't lay them on it too thick then um, you know it's not it's not too bad so this next one is a royal talons gouache this is a light gold gouache and I have to say I really really love the uh, royal talons gouache the consistency of it I think I read something on their website about their particular formula um, and it's I think it's done differently to other gouaches but it's a really beautiful um, f you know uh, medium to use so if you aren't interested in gold but you just want to try some gouache um, you know I would recommend getting a tube or two of the um, Royal Talon gouache it's it's really beautiful and then this one here is the Schmincke gold watercolor so I got this in a limited edition gold set um, and, and again it's just that really bright gold um, this one here is one of my favorites. This is by one of my favorite watercolor shops. This is a uh, Chantel from Nibs Watercolors and it's a holographic um, like a champagne gold color and it is really beautiful. I really love this and I, I believe you guys really love this one as well. Um, yeah. So this next one here is the Schmincke Mussini um, oil so this is an oil uh, painting gold and this is quite an expensive one uh, but if you're a gold if you're an oil painter and you want to try a gold this is a absolutely beautiful one um, to add to paintings so this one I think is the Renaissance gold and again they have like five different ones I think to choose from um, ranging from like golds to silvers and maybe a copper but yeah this is a really really stunning paint and it doesn't actually have a very strong oil smell which is good uh, so this one is the Diane Townsend Tar oh this one actually is a soft form so it's number 605 um, but you can see like it's flat and sort of rectangular like the Tarages which are the more rectangular ones so I'm not sure um, why because it it was um, you know a soft for one but I'm really happy to have the I really like the you know um, shape of the tarages and yeah I just usually like will use this and just rub it in with my finger um, this one here is an 18 karat gold leafing pen and yeah it's really beautiful as well so um, I lost the footage I don't know how people wear nails long nails because I kept um, pressing record and it wasn't recording so yeah but that's a really nice pen and then this one here is the 
calligrapher gold it is completely dry so we have I think we've used a few of these and these are really nice as well um, so I highly recommend these um, you can get them in like different tips and different um, like gold silver and um, rose gold or copper so this one is a gouache this is this says pale gold um, but yeah you can see here like it looks more rose gold so if that that might be a color that you are really interested in so I wanted to swatch this as well it's not exactly one I will probably use you know as much um, then this one here is the Windsor & Newton gold gouache and you can see that has kind of that yellow gold um, on the cover but when you squeeze it out it's definitely more of this like rose gold it looks like it's got some kind of like an orange mixed in with um, the gold mica or something to, to give it like a bit of an undertone there so the next one is called Lane Gold. This is a Turner acrylic gouache and it's actually, it's mostly like um, clear and then it's got these um, kind of sparkles in it. So um, you can see it comes out and it kind of looks milky but it dries clear and um, yeah, this is again in that kind of more rose gold colorway or copper and um, it's just a beautiful one so here you can see that I used it for the shadow and I use it very sparingly for like a sprinkling of a shadow there and um, I'll also show you this swatch where it, it's applied a little bit more heavily so it gives you a bit more dimension this one is one of my favorite ones at the minute so this is a um, Lascaux and it's the Britannia silver and this is an acrylic but it's got a really beautiful um, it's kind of like silver with just a little bit of like a hint of gold so it gives you a really pretty sort of platinum color So this one is the uh, Sennelier Silver Ink and this is my second bottle of this. This is a really beautiful, uh, it's kind of an antique silver so it's got, it's a little bit of a, like a warm silver, um, like it's got sort of taupey undertones and yeah it's just a really really lovely one. I love to use this with my dip pen as well but you can see you can also use it with a paintbrush. This is another one from Nibs Watercolors. This is the uh, Katia and again it's a holographic silver with kind of those taupe undertones so this is a really gorgeous one as well. And when I say like the way that I'm using gouache is still like watercolor so I will still just put it in a half pan and then use it in my watercolor palette as part of my watercolor setup okay so this one is bezel and this one was in one of my last hauls this is from KJ designs uh, by Karen and it is a really beautiful uh, silver you can see that kind of it's got that really beautiful um, sumptuous silver it's really luxurious and how easily it rewets as well so it's a really lovely one 
uh, and I think, did I say this is called bezel? And so then the last one that we are going to swatch is the Sun Gold and this is from Paint and Paper Studio. They basically have like five colors and they're all beautiful. So this one you can see here, um, this one is like a, a more luxurious version of like the Daniel Smith interference um, gold. So it's just got that really kind of wow factor and I really like to either um, mix this uh, with other colors or layer it on top. So I have a whole video about how I like to use interference colors. Um, but yeah, really, really beautiful. So um, I think this is, yeah, this is the whole selection. And um, you can see here, so this is a little pa packet of the... Um, oil pastels this is the first kind of color range that I got to try them out and it's all kind of my favorites like the gold silver the pearl white and then the kind of blush and the shell pink kind of color range and so I do recommend that if you are just trying a new product just try a couple of colors that are your favorites they don't have to be you know my favorites they you know like if you like blues or purples or neutrals um, yeah just try those out and then I will have a video coming up about kind of how I'm using some of these golds in my artwork and then you can see they're even like that's the light gold um, gouache by Royal Talons and I just sprinkle that in the shadow there as well so yeah um, we have a few other videos coming up and I will see you guys soon bye <music>